Let's see what's happening in our lab. Here we go. This is Jan Schapelsky. Hey, Phil. Jan, what are you up to? I am inoculating overnight stocks of Listeria so I can purify their secreted fractions and fluorescently label them and then track their uptake uh, in live cells. Cool. All right. Let's see what else is going on here. Oh, here's Olivia Eliason. Olivia, Hi. what are you up to? I'm looking at the concentration from some new unknown compounds. Um, These are the ones we got from high throughput screening? Yes, they're the one we got from University of Kansas. I see. Let's check it out. Hmm. Nice UV spectra. Yes. All right, here we go. Shamnath Chakravorty. Shamnath, what are you up to? Uh, I am performing a site analysis of uh, the tetra of the plasmid. So we have done the uh, PCR for the analysis. We got the band. I'm going to do the weekend digest. Hope I get the uh, recombinant clones and then we can see this and see whether we got the mutant or not. Excellent. Thank you. And this is a retrieve the jumbar. The senior member of the laboratory. Ritri, what are you up to? <laughs> Hi, I'm doing, a, I'm trying to set up a PCR uh, to screen some of the colonies that I got, whether I got a mutant or not. So I'm basically <clears throat> looking for mutants. And picking colonies. Yeah, picking colonies and going to screen them through PCR. And I'm gonna do a dirty PCR, yeah. Nice. Actually, I think I got that wrong. Jan is the senior member of the library. Yeah, senior most. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and this is Ashish Kumar. Hello. Ashish, I, Ashish, I know you. I noticed you have a Western block there. Yeah. A famous spaghetti Western. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. I can see the bands. So those are all different monoclonal antibodies. Yes. And we have found one that's reacted with Klebsiella pneumonia. In fact, you can see it there, number 11. These are the E. coli. Very good. <laughs> and now let's go into the fluorescence room. As you can see, there is a fluorescence experiment in progress. Here we go. It's dark in here. Several things going on. Let's see. First of all, we pass through the lab. This is our cedar flow purification area. This is our cell culture area. And we're going to come around here and we're going to see the fluorescence experiment. All right. This is Professor Brittany Nair and the former Brittany Wilkinson. Brittany, what are you up to there? I am monitoring the transport of ferric enterobactin by Acinetobacter bromoniae using fluorescently labeled Cepe protein. And you got a big smile on your face. Why is that? Because it's working. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so explain what happened. So here is the original fluorescence from the labeled Cepe protein that we see a drop in fluorescence as that ferric enterobactin is added and binds to Febe. And then over time, we see a recovery as the ferric enterobactin is transported. Yeah, that is really impressive. I have to say that it's uh, very encouraging. Definitely. <laughs> okay, let's go on over here. And now we're gonna see Professor Sally Newton, who looks like she's doing some membrane transport. Yes, I am. <laughs> Can you explain it? Well, I'm tagging along with Brittany. What she's doing, she's labeling acinetobacter cells with fluorescein. And uh, I'm making sure that the cells are transporting ferric enterobactin normally. So I use radioactive label ferric enterobactin. And then I measure the amount of iron that the cells are getting in vivo. Awesome. Thank you. OK. And the last thing to show is the part of the laboratory, our cedar floors. So this is a tube of ferric enterobactin. Look at that beautiful red color and the iron absorption at 
495 nanometers. And here is radioactive ferric at our back in the duck and Newtons using inner experiment. These are all compounds that I make for the experiments. And purify here in my little network of chromatography columns.